Petty Officer Rick McGathy, U.S. Navy from 1970 to 74 on the USS Midway. He wanted us all to know that his mother is here today. She's 100 years old and her name is Rosemary. Welcome, friends, neighbors, veterans, and patriots. Before I get too deep, let me get, give you a bit of my personal military background. I joined the Navy in 1970 during the Vietnam War. My service time was spent as a plane captain on an aircraft carrier, the USS Midway. We spent most of our time in the Tonkin Gulf. By the way, the USS Midway is now a museum in San Diego Bay. It's a Forbes ranking of the sixth best, best museum in the United States. It's definitely worth a trip. Working on a flight deck had many dangers. Being responsible for a plane, in my case an A6 intruder, and training others was a heavy load to carry. We all knew our lives depended on each one of us paying close attention, and we knew one person making one wrong decision could cost someone their life. <clears throat> and indeed, we saw that loss of life. <clears throat> we had three funerals at sea at Midway. <clears throat> we also lost a plane and its crew. If you go to the Midway Museum, you will see the names of that crew written on the side of the A6 intruder, along with the 30 other planes and helicopters that were used on the Midway. I could go on with stories of men sucked into the engine, blown off the flight deck. <clears throat> Dear John Letters, <clears throat> or being beat up or spit on when off the ship. <clears throat> but the important takeaway is how important it is to be in community and how tight we all became to this day because of what we've been through together. <clears throat> Many veterans have stories much more difficult than mine, and that's why we're here. Memorial Day is our nation's solemn day to mourn and honor the men and women <clears throat> who paid the ultimate price. This day was originally called Decoration Day because people would and still do decorate the graves of the fallen soldiers. It's a day to express our gratitude for the courage and bravery leading to that ultimate service. <clears throat> we may not know each one of these soldiers, but we owe each one of them. For those of us still here, enjoying the gifts of freedom, how can we show our appreciation to those who paid the price? <clears throat> First, we can remember and retell the stories of the courageous acts of our fellow brothers and sisters make their memories live on purpose. <clears throat> Second, we can live lives inspired by those heroes in America's past. Focus on the good that they did and mimicking those virtues <clears throat> of courage, goodness, love, generosity, patience, and faithfulness in the way that we treat our neighbors <clears throat> and others in our lives. <clears throat> you don't have to be in the military to live a life of service to others. That is everyone's God-given purpose for being here. To love God and to love our neighbors in acts of service. <clears throat> Third, in memory of the fallen, support their families and support the veterans who did come home, especially those with disabilities realizing that many of those disabilities are emotional and that may not be something you can see. <clears throat> many in your families, your churches, your neighbors, or your places of employment are suffering silently. <clears throat> Some are suicidal or have turned to drugs or alcohol <clears throat> in an attempt to cope. Some are homeless, don't judge, don't turn away. Find ways to show kindness Find ways to help them. <clears throat> Fourth, love and support your country. <clears throat> to be a citizen of the United States of America is a blessing. 
our country is the republic, meaning that we, the people, have the responsibility to build up, support, and protect our country and our constitution. <clears throat> as individuals and as a republic, we have flaws. We've all made mistakes. We all have dirt in our past, included our beloved country. <clears throat> But the United States of America is still the best country in the history of mankind. We have people flooding over our borders by land, sea, and air as proof of that. And finally, <clears throat> pray. Pray for the families of the fallen. Pray for our active military and their families. Pray for our veterans and pray for our country. <clears throat> 